A growing number of Pennsylvanians are betting online with the state recording record gambling revenue in 2022. And at the same time, there is an increase in calls for gambling help, specifically among young adults. Yeah, tonight, Fox 43's Marshall Keeley uncovers a possible hole in the state program intended to prevent those in recovery from causing themselves further harm. As online sports betting becomes more popular, Joshua Cole from the Council on Compulsive Gambling of Pennsylvania says more bettors are setting limits on the sites they use. Last I heard, we were somewhere in the 85,000 range in Pennsylvania. 85,000 online gambling account holders have implemented at least one of these self-imposed limits. While this is a powerful tool for many people, individuals who are struggling with compulsive gambling have other options that can keep them away from gaming altogether. The Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board has offered voluntary self-exclusion for in-person betting since casinos were first legalized in 2006. It's a program that's proven effective for many, taking that temptation away. Basically, what that allowed for folks to do would be to voluntarily and confidentially ban themselves from being able to access any casino in the state. The self-exclusion helps them take it off the table. You know, people say, I'm so glad, I, you know, I thought about gambling the other night, but I knew that I couldn't. People who sign up for the in-person program can choose to exclude themselves from play for one year, five years, or forever. No matter which option you choose, you stay on that list unless you want to be removed. I do not need to do another thing, and I will remain on that program for as long as, as, long as I live. Uh, I would need to request to have my name removed after the one year or five year term and I would go through a hearing process. When online betting was legalized in 2018, the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board established another self-exclusion program, as Kevin Kyle, director of sports wagering operations, explains. If a patron feels that they um, should not be gambling or they can't gamble within their limits, um, they can opt in to self-exclude themselves from every online sports wagering site for a certain period of time, be it one year, five years, or a lifetime ban. There's a key difference between the online and in-person programs. If a person chooses the one year or five year online self-exclusion, they are automatically taken off that list at the end of the period, unless they renew. It allows them to resume betting right away, potentially undoing all their progress. I've been through counseling. I've been going to meetings. I'm working the steps. I'm in a good place right now. The last thing I need is to be reminded of something I need to do. I, I don't know why that decision was ultimately made. Um, but as you can imagine, obviously, it's something that, you know, I, I don't necessarily think was, was the best approach. We pose the question to the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board. When it comes to online betting, um, you are automatically taken off of that list after your term expires. Why is there a difference there? Why, why, the, why the difference in regulation there? Um, Marshall, I, I wish I could answer that question with you on interview. Um, I, I can circle back with you with our Office of Compulsive and Problem Gambling. A gaming control board representative sent us this response, reading in part, Casino self-exclusion has always required the individual to request a removal and for the circumstances of their request to be looked at by staff and board. Since this is a program that is 15 years old and very successful, the thought was not to change that. It continues, quote, The other programs were new, and we believed it was a good opportunity to start fresh on how removals occur and instead have individuals re-enroll or extend their self-exclusion. Still, Urkel says the policy could be triggering for some. So it's just sort of like creating this dangling carrot that, you know, the 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 potential for a problem we feel is just a little bit greater than it needs to be. Program differences aside, gambling counselor Loretta Vasso says it's up to the individual to decide if they want to recover or not. She suggests anyone wanting to escape compulsive gambling for good should only choose a permanent ban. If you really want to stop gambling because you recognize that it's destroying your life, then there is no end. You know, why wouldn't you self-exclude for a lifetime? Are you planning on going back? The Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board says casino gambling is an in-person form of gambling, and it believes it's important to require individuals who want to be removed from the exclusion program to take the steps to prove they're ready. Meanwhile, the experts we spoke to point out with online gambling, there's no physical barrier, making it easier for people with a gambling addiction to start playing again the moment they're taken off the list. Marshall Keeley, Fox 43 News.